the 2017 World Series was heartbreaking for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, the team must look ahead and look to replicate what the 20,142,015 Kansas City Royals did. Kansas City lost the 2014 World Series in seven games as well before returning in 2015 to win in five. To do so, the Dodgers must improve, and a key target is a member of that 20,142,015 Royals team. While the Dodgers still are one of the most talented teams heading into next season, some additions need to be made. Los Angeles needs to sign a viable number two starter behind Clayton Kershaw, and realistically should add one more dangerous right hand bat in the middle of the order. While the Dodgers do have players such as Enrique Hernandez and Logan Forsyth to hit left-handed pitching, they lack that everyday dynamic right hand heading back outside of Justin Turner. Chris Taylor caught fire last year, but his spot at the leadoff limits him. Yasiel Puig is too inconsistent. Realistically, one more right hand bat is ideal. As alluded to earlier, that perfect right hand bat to pursue is none other than former Royals outfielder Lorenzo Cain. The one-time All-Star and third-place 2015 MVP is the perfect puzzle piece for the Dodgers to storm back into the Fall Classic. Kane has been one of the most consistent bats for the Kansas City Royals the last four seasons. Last season, Kane batted .300 with 175 hits, 15 home runs, 86 runs scored and 26 stolen bases. As great as Taylor was in the leadoff spot, he may be better suited to hit fifth behind Cody Bellinger. Thus, the Dodgers can move Kane to the leadoff spot getting the exact same mix of power and speed that they do from Taylor. Not only that, Kane is a more consistent option atop the lineup and makes the Dodgers outfield one of the best defensively. Los Angeles can take two paths with Kane. First, they could start him in left field, with Taylor in center. Ideally, though, the Dodgers would want Kane to start in center due to his natural fielding ability, moving the versatile Taylor to left field or the Dodgers can move Taylor back to the infield. Los Angeles could start Taylor at second base ahead of Logan Forsyth against right-handers, starting Forsyth against left-handers. Then, Taylor can play left field against left-handers while Jock Peterson or Andrew Tolles can play against right-handers. Not only does adding Kane sum up the offensive efforts for the Dodgers, he also fixes the platoon at second base. With Chase Utley likely riding off into the sunset, the Dodgers need another guy to play second. The team would then have the flexibility to play either Taylor or Hernandez at second in place of Forsyth. While it would take some lineup maneuvering, adding Lorenzo Kane would be the smartest move for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Kane knows exactly what it takes to win it all, so adding his presence would be huge.